I met my first guest uh, when she was just a kid. And since then, she's made quite a name for herself. She's appeared in movies, magazines. She's got a hit reality series. And she's just written a new book called Confessions of an Heiress. Please welcome the one and only and the most photographed woman in the world, Paris Hilton. I, I tell you something, it's so, I really do have a talk show now. Paris Hilton is here. <laughs> this is great. This is beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you. How are you? Good. I brought you a tiara. Oh, you brought me a tiara? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, uh... Every heiress needs a tiara. Uh, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get a chain and wear it around my neck. Okay. Thank you, though. But I'll keep it. Well, first of all, I met you a long time ago, right? Mm -hmm. You were just a kid. Do you remember? I remember. When was it? Do you? Um, we met when I was like five, and then I remember you came to a barbecue at our house in Malibu. Right. I met you five at the house on Sunset. Mm -hmm. Right. It was a Christmas party. I think it was an open house. Your sister was uh, was really really little. Nikki was really little, and uh, you know I know uh, I know your parents, of course. And um, in the book, here it is, right? Confessions. This is great. Confessions of an heiress. I, ac I actually read it twice last night. I mean, and I really liked it. And, and rule number six, <laughs> rule number six on how to be an heiress is um, never get up before 10 or go to bed before 3. Yeah. So, well, those days are over now because if you, I mean, I think people have to realize if you have a, a book, a movie, a TV series, a, a jewelry line, a clothing line, and whatever else. You're getting up at three. You're getting up at three <laughs> yeah. and working and stuff. So why? Why do you do that? I just, I love making my own money. I just, it makes me feel good about myself and making my own name for myself. And I wouldn't feel good if I would just sit at home and do nothing. I really enjoy working. And, and the work ethic. I mean, that work ethic, I mean, it takes work. Because I know just promoting the show has been like, you know, daunting. I'm up early. I go to, you know, I'm at Good Morning America. Then I run back and... You have to do a lot of stuff. It's brutal. And I know your family. It is a very loving group of people. I mean, and, and Nikki just got married. She's yes. and she's happy and so happy. Oh, congratulations! Please wish you my best. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm serious, folks. You know, I, I think you know Paris does take it on the chin sometimes a little bit because of uh, people think that. But she really is a hardworking up and, and. First of all, it's 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 before ten now. I think, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Now, we appreciate you getting up. So where do you see yourself now? Where do you go from here? Are you going to go back to uh, The Simple Life? You know, I'm so busy right now doing films in my album that I don't know when I'll have time, but maybe. Yeah. If we go to, like, Europe or something, I'll do it. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that. You know, I remember, uh, I remember thinking that, yes, I might give up TV. No, no, I'm, uh, that's amazing. What, uh, when does the, the album come out, the CD? I sound like an Like idea. February. In February. Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of music? Well, my first single is called Screwed, and it's like, it's like Blondie. It's like rock and roll. Oh, I like pop. her, yeah. It's hot. I saw her recently. She's terrific. She's amazing. Yeah, she's her. still terrific. How's the dog? How's Tinkerbell? She's back. We she's back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thank God. <laughs> now, let's, can we, can we just clear it up, Paris? What, what happened to the dog? I mean, what, what happened? Someone left the door open, and she ran away, and then a neighbor found her a couple days later. I called a pet psychic. I put up signs. <laughs> And I found her. Oh, yeah. I heard that the signs you put up, people were taking down and selling on eBay. Is yes, right? they were. I, mean, you gotta, After, I put them up myself. Like, I ran around with the stapler going around the entire Hollywood Hills, and then they're all, like, taken down within a so, couple hours. I mean, imagine this, folks. Imagine this kind of living in a fishbowl. <laughs> it's really something. Um, so, you know, I had, actually, I have a, a, a dog kidnapping story. My dog was kidnapped once when I was in the Hollywood Hills, actually. I was going, I was dating someone, and we broke up, and she, she kidnapped my dog. <laughs> yeah. I, all I did was pay, I paid the ransom. Anyway, <laughs> so, so, so you see yourself, do you see yourself ever getting married? And Definitely. I want to be married for, like, the next three years. Really? Mm -hmm. You have any, anybody, I mean, I'm not that you don't have to tell me, but anybody? No, that, no. not yet. Good. All right, okay. <laughs> You know, the club is good. The married club is good. I mean it. It's okay. I said, but just make sure you find the right person. I will. See, I got paternal there, didn't I? I'm just, I can't help myself. Thank you. You're gonna have kids? Would you see yourself with definitely, kids? Yeah. Definitely. I want to have three kids. What about? Uh, and then you'd be a, a, a stay-at-home mom. I'll be working, but I'll be home a lot. Yeah. Would you cook? 
I'm the best cook. You're a good cook. I'm such a I good cook. I thought heiresses weren't supposed to cook. Weren't they supposed to have people cook for them? No. If you're an heiress, you should be able to cook. Oh, yeah? It's hot. Oh, well, would you... <laughs> okay, so would you cook for us after the break? Uh, definitely will. Oh, look at this, folks. <laughs> okay, so when we come back, we'll do some cooking with Tara Hilton. Paris Hilton, who is not only an heiress, she's also a mean cook, and she makes a mean lasagna. So take us through it, will you, Paris? All right. Well, the best part about my lasagna is, like, I love ricotta cheese. Uh-huh. So I came up with this recipe with the eggs and pepper. Okay. And some nutmeg and salt and cheese. A lot of cheese is key. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna mix, mix I'll mix you. Sure. I had a feeling the heiress didn't do that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then what do we do? Then we're gonna go over here. Okay. We have a buttered pan, and I'll start putting in the sauce. Okay, now did you make the sauce? How did we, or did the yeah. sauce, does that just appear? <laughs> it How does appeared. That, it just appears. <laughs> Magically. See, Paris, really, you know, when you cook, it's a little different than everybody else, but <laughs> as long as it comes out good. Okay, I'm ready here. All right. Okay. We're gonna need some of that in a sec. Okay, so you're lining the plate with, with the lasagna noodles. Yep. Okay, and then you, you put this in? Yep. Okay. Spread it evenly. I'll try to even it out, yes. <laughs> yeah. I and love lasagna. I love lasagna, too. So good. Oh. My mother used to cook twice a year. That was it. Every, all the other times, my father <laughs> I mean it. She made lasagna on, on Thanksgiving and, and Christmas. That was it. It's Italian. It's Italian. Okay, how's that? And then we're going to put some more of these on top. Okay, another layer. And some more sauce. And some more sauce. Okay. So good. Okay. <laughs> you know, I had no idea that you were you, that you like to cook. I mean, when... I, I love cooking. People don't know that about me. A lot of people think that I can't cook, but. Well, what? Well, you know, I mean, I, you know, they they figure you have somebody cooking for you. It's more fun to do it yourself. My oh. mom is a really great cook, so I would just watch her when I was little, and I learned from my mom. Uh, cheese or? Uh... Some cheese. Some cheese. Okay. I like being your, your sous chef. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, okay. One more layer, and then, and then we're gonna the sauce, and then we put it in the oven. Okay, I think we're all But we have to put some mozzarella on top. You know, we, I want to teach hot. you something, okay, because we're in New York, and, you know, I'm Italian. It's mozzarella. Okay. Right. Mozzarella. <laughs> oh, we're going to put some sauce first, right? Yes. Okay. Mozzarella, yeah. It's gonna be good. I used to have a girlfriend. She was my main mozzarella. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, all right. And then we would put this in the oven. It's hot in there. Am I right, guys? All right, there we go. Oh, baby. <laughs> and through the magic of TV. Oh. Wow. That was quick. Wow, all right. All right. This looks good. It looks real good, actually. And I love the end. I don't know, you know. Uh huh. You gonna taste a little of your lasagna? Yeah. <laughs> okay, because that's how you know. You know when people go, no, you taste it. <laughs> okay, Paris. Thank you. Here's a fork and a napkin. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Oh, you look here. Look, a little oh, booze. I know it's early, sexy. but. This is so romantic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. It's good. Oh, here's good. Hi, the fish. Paris, thank you so much for being on and cooking for us. Drinking wine at 10 in the morning. Hey, Zalou. <laughs> uh, Paris Hilton, Confession of an Heiress, in stores right now. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Oh,